video is sponsored by Wix Filters, manufacturers of filters for automobiles, trucks, off-road equipment, and manufacturing applications. Go to WixFilters.com for more information. David! David! What's up, Maddie? Like what you heard? No! <laughs> Come on, Maddie, I'm just working the kinks out. David! What are you doing? It's time for us to give tire dealers information to keep their tire businesses rolling with research conducted with our independent tire dealer audience. And here you are, fooling around playing that, that thing. You know what? What even is that thing? Look what you've done to our video department. Okay, look, I can explain. This is an electronic saxophone. It's the next big thing. And you know how we're always talking about ways that tire dealers are retaining customers today, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. So you saw our data showing how tire dealers have upgraded their customer waiting areas, and you saw that 23% of them have added music. This is a side gig gold mine. I'm pretty sure they don't mean live music, David. And besides, tire dealers have upgraded their waiting rooms in plenty of other ways too in the past year. Well, I'm sure I can figure something out with one of those other ways tire dealers are upping the customer waiting room experience. <laughs> good luck with that. Actually, Maddie, what good is your waiting area if you aren't getting customers through the door in the first place? That's where advertising comes in. You know what I find interesting is our audience says their website comes in second place, only behind word of mouth when it comes to attracting new customers. That makes sense, but why is that interesting? Because out of those tire dealers who took our survey, about 27% of them said they don't use a website to bring in new customers at all. Building a website is definitely tough, but the good news is that there are providers out there that can help. And having a website that details your products, services, and contact information can be one of the most cost-effective ways to advertise your business. And rounding out the top five ways tire dealers have found success with advertising to new customers is using social media, direct mail, and radio ads. That all makes sense, but social media is a pretty broad category. Can we get more specific? Yeah, you're right. I mean, overwhelmingly, our audience gets the best bang for their buck from Facebook. In fact, 96% of dealers have a Facebook page for their business, and 39% of them say they post daily content. On the other hand, hardly anyone finds much success with Snapchat. Only 8% of our dealers have a Snapchat account set up for their business at all. And even then, only 4% say they are posting on it on a monthly basis. Fair to say most dealers shouldn't invest much time in Snapchat then. Yeah, so customers are in the door, there's funky music playing in the waiting area, some have even upgraded their furniture or added complimentary snacks. But what other methods are tire dealers using to up their customer convenience game? So there's of course the tried and true key drop off and shuttle cars, but dealers are also starting to see a lot of success offering cashless payment options, something like Google Pay, Apple Pay, or PayPal. Another one creeping into the lives of dealers is calling customers an Uber or Lyft to and from the shop if they don't want to wait. Well, convenience is often the name of the game, and so are freebies. We asked dealers if they've had success offering free services post-sale, and most say most definitely. 66% add free lifetime air, and 65% add free tire rotations to the list. Yeah, and actually tire dealers are really going out of their way to do a lot for their customers. For those who chose other, common answers were free flat repairs, free mounting, or even a free oil change. Retaining customers isn't always easy, but tire dealers always seem to have something up their sleeves to keep them rolling in. <laughs> you got that right. For more business intelligence data to help boost tire dealer profitability, be sure to watch out for our next episode of Rolling With The Numbers. If you subscribe to our newsletter, look for it there. Until next time. Keep, Keep on, on rolling. rolling.